We are starting the framing process. Donnie has me building headers and corners. This particular corner is a double on studs with cripples in between. I think he wants to snap a line with his TV. Okay. We just use some blocks to pad that out so that way on the interior we'll have a nailer and it strengthens up the corners. We are framing with hand drive 20 penny and 16 penny nails. I'm using a 28 ounce S-wing hammer. Donnie is doing the layout for the framing and Stevie's going to come behind him and frame the walls. Oh, where the hell is the chalk? Yeah, All right here. Donnie and Stevie are going to snap a line with the chalk line to ensure that our wall is straight. Our deck might have a little bow or a little crook in it, but snapping a line with a chalk line makes sure that the wall comes out straight. I'm going to pull it really tight. We are framing with rough cut hemlock that we milled ourselves this summer, spring and fall. Some of it still had a heartbeat a couple weeks ago. After sawing a tree, sometimes the lumber can twist or turn or go back to its natural bend. So you'll see us toenail from time to time. And a toenail has a tremendous amount of strength to bring a stud straight again. I guess this wall had a little bow on it. Yeah, we never strung it. How bad? Quarter in. This is going out by a quarter. Gotta have the wall stay. So, Stevie, I've marked this out. Put this out on the X side. Of the line. Okay. Okay. You ready for this corner? Yep. And these are all. Yeah. You say these ones are cut on it. Yeah, wait. I got a window going in here. Oh, okay. So I mark full stud here and full stud there. Okay. Don't put one here or here. If you have a question, holla. Okay.
back that one so close here. This will be the last one you nail top and bottom. Okay. So we're going to lift this section first. And then we'll put this one together. And so don't, don't nail these three. I put like three nails in it, Stevie. Did you switch to 16s? Yep. It's driving them way in there. Is that good or bad? Oh, that's good. Yeah, these aren't. Normally you want a little bit longer nail. You put three in each stat, Donnie? What's that? You do three in each one of these or just on the. Three. Well, okay. yeah, I do three in each of the singles. Okay. If it does like set a head deep, it's good. Deeper is better than shallower with these. Okay. Just because they're only three inch. And you're going through a full two inch. coming together. You figure it out, Stevie? Yeah, I think so. Now I'm a little confused. Uh -oh. I got a window right there. I know he's probably going to make up the hit of our Right here, that's why we did full stud and full stud. Right. And I left the other ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then this one that splits it. That's the Try. one that splits. So we're going to leave those three out, right? Yeah. Until uh, we stand it up or yeah, we nail had, it. We had these three marked here with actually these three. But I, I nailed that one on the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. That's fine. And then this gets nailed here. Don't nail that one. Okay. It looks like I might have, I might need to put one here. Is that right, Donnie, you think? Or is this the window? That might be the jack. Uh, yeah, you put So you maybe one, one right here. Where the hell is the one I got to go over there? So I gotta I got put one more here, because yeah. obviously that one. Right. And the window must be here. And the window is yeah, the window is here. Right here. Alright. So these axes get a regular pulse. Those regular get a regular stud. stud. Okay. All right. Okay. Alright, well, 
fill these ones up. I, these two are off just a little bit, just so you know. Uh, huh. Or is there something under it? Ah, is it all right? Or yeah, I think it. It's flat, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just. Oh. Oop. I think that's just my poor cut. Right there, is that any better? Yeah, that's close enough. Huh? Oh, just, yeah. Water pouring out as the nail goes in. That's kind of a small window. That'll be nice in the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, that's the one we can, best one I could find. Here's what it is. Yeah. So what was it, 32? Uh, it was a 24. Yeah. Kind of small, but... No one's sneaking out of it. No. They'll sneak out of the front one. Cut your header when you want it. Right. You got your header if you want it. In the in the wall tent for some reason. But I do need you to make up a wall stud, which will be two good studs like this with a stud. Flush with one side and then oh, for the for the to catch the wall. Yeah. So two with one. And he could just have this? Yeah. Yeah. He can As is? It. Yeah. And you need a you need a double triple. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I need it. Need it. This will be straight. With one on top. No, be right in between. Oh. Right here. Like a pocket. A, a pocket. Okay. Okay. 
a pocket. Yeah. And I'll need two of those. One for that wall, one for this wall. Okay. There's your pocket, Stevie. Okay. Thank you. Are all done, Stevie? Yeah, I'm all done. Want to stand her up? Yo, you, uh, will you put that header in, Stevie? Header going in? Yeah. Which way you want it, Donnie? The 2 by 4 down or up? Down, right? Yeah. Point it down. by four down. So go right to the top? Yeah, yeah, and then you can nail down through that top two by four into the header. This way. Oh, yeah. it goes right to the to the header? Yeah. Sweet. Goes right out. Nice. That header's never going anywhere. Might not be going in here. Sure. Get, the, get the grinder. Precision. Oh, this is seven. Four. What do you need, a sledge? I don't know. Should just go with a regular hammer. I got a hammer right here. Jesus, don't hurt your leg. Here, just get her going the right direction. Probably shrink and fall out. That's not quite flush to this, is that all right? It's gonna be yeah, I sandwiched them together. Does that? They should have been four inches, but yeah, I mean, the, stand on the plate first and see if it flushes them. No, I guess, I guess it's fine. I yeah. can try Don't, and hold that up from the bottom. No, no, the, that's fine. As long as it's not going the other way, that that same amount. But since you stood on the plate and it didn't go up or down, you should be good. Yeah, it'll okay. be flush on the other side. Yeah. But you got one where we got to go out a quarter, right? I think so, yeah, in the middle. Okay. So this, this one with the uh, overlap, it's nailed here, but I didn't nail the top yet. What the f... <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, what happened? Nothing, I just wasn't sure if I needed to nail that. So what, I didn't do it yet. You mean? Where they, uh, where they both, where they meet right here at this joint. No. I didn't nail this one oh. to the top yet. Okay, uh, you can nail this half of it. This side. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. going to skip half and half. Okay.
Mm -hmm. This is just kick, kicks. Just in case we... Stevie. Yeah. Can you nail that header down through the top plate with nails? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Yep. So is that all one piece now, that wall? No. Where's the break? They meet here, and then we left these next three off, because they meet there on the bottom. When I'm standing up a wall, you can do the whole thing at once, or you can elect to do it in parts and pieces like we did. Probably Dimensional did. lumber and fairly green lumber is a lot heavier oh. than the kiln dried stuff, so it'd be a heavy wall to do it all at once with two guys under 50 and yeah. one over 80. Uh, hold on, I might be able to lift that. Ready? The first thing you want to do after standing up the wall is to get the bottom plate on your chalk line straight. You can nail that down if you want first, making sure that the corner is where it needs to be lengthwise. The next thing that you want to do is brace it and you could plumb it at the same time and get a good level and plumb while you put your brace on. You got the level? Yeah. You want to get a nail on this first? Putting the brace on the outside of the gable end on the rim joist is a good spot to put it because it'll be out of the way when you raise your gable end wall and it'll also act as a catch so you won't go too far with your gable end wall when you raise that one. Can you get on that or? I can go higher if you want me to. Left. Left handed. Still like it? Yeah. Plate. We're gonna. Well, we can't really level him yet, can we? Right here, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And you see, you just do. You're only going to hit the rim joist, right? Unless you can hit one of these. You're right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you liked it? You liked it right here, Donnie? Oh, you see it? I guess. Just like it right there. Right there. Oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah. Uh um, oh. You need it back there? Yeah, do you want me to put one here and then go back there? I guess so. Maybe. Right here is okay. Yeah. I mean, that's close. I'd say go with it. Was this all right? 
I think so, yeah. How far down did we get? This is going to come in. Yeah, a nail. You want me to throw a screw instead? It'd be easier to take apart. Let's see, go on. Yeah. Like it there? Yeah. You guys were on three. <laughs> there. How's the top? I'll pound it out. Yeah, there's a sledge up here somewhere, Donnie. You hold this, dude? Yep. I guess if they're tight here, we're good, right? Yeah. Yeah. You want to lift that top plate where it's hitting Whoop. the... I'll lift it. Uh, level right here, Donnie. If you want to push it up with the level. Go. Racket, Racket towards, towards, towards you, Stevie, outside. to your right. There we go. Did I hit you? Right in the head. You, were, you want me to nail the plate down? Yeah. How good am I? How far down am I good? That was fine. It's yeah. right here, it's hanging hang it up. Yeah. Can you hit it here? I think I can. Yeah, it's over. Still good right here? Yeah. Where's Stevie is, we gotta come in. Let's do this outside brace first or no? Yeah. Okay. Let me start a nail. Yeah. Because I'm left handed. Yeah. Maybe you're right handed? Yeah. You want to drive 
drive this in. Yep. Drop me a nail too, Donnie, will you? I got my hammer. Thanks. Uh, Donnie's gonna get the level. Okay. Well, you can go ahead and nail yours anytime, Just Steve. Put it right in. No. Yeah. No. All the way. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. All the way. And then just take a little weight off this for a second, will you? So I can grab my hammer and nail. Just this. Let me get one started. Yep. So Donnie's going to go in or out with it. I'm going to go out. Uh, right there. Like it? I like it. It didn't jack that, did it? Oh, because that's not nailed on. No, I mean, yeah, it didn't, it didn't jack it, right? Because I, I had a little discrepancy right here. I split well, it. it's I hard, hard to tell. I, I don't... It might have jacked it a little, Joey. All right, I, take that one out. I'll grind it down just a hair more. Pretty close to where you want to be? Yep. This goes up quite a bit, this ladder. Is it? Yeah, if you want to get on top and do that. You can still go top down if you want. We could, we could do all three first if you want. Oh, okay. It might be easier that way. Yep. <coughs> Can't look up because the sun is right there. And the sawdust is tumbling down. Yeah. You good? Yep. This one just free floating. And then just tail it. Yeah. It happens. Can I hold down on it so it doesn't fit? Come out. Yeah. I'll hold this. Probably do that one for us. It's alright if it floats. Uh, I would do the plate first. This one? Yeah, the two plates. The ones that weren't. This one right here, right? Yeah. yeah. That ladder will go up if you want it to.
you see the line jump? Yeah. Way over. Yep. Uh, let her go. Yeah, go ahead. Right there? Yeah. Yeah, you got right. it. Yep, you're good. You're on it. Yep. The next one's good. It just, yep, yeah, just watch your in and out. Yep. That went pretty slick. Yeah. Joey, can I get you to make up some headers? Yeah, what do you know? How big? Uh, I need two by eight, just like made just like that one. Yeah. Uh, I need one that's 43 inches long. One that's uh, eight feet. And we also need one more, 35 inches. 35? Yeah. No. Okay. Right, I gave you one that's 43. 43, 8 foot and 35. Yeah. Feel good on that? I'm good. Okay. Donnie is doing a layout for the south facing wall. He has the top and the bottom plate next to each other, describing a line across and then putting the X on the side where he wants the 2 by 4 These two plates will be separated the length or width of a 2 by 4 and all the 2 by 4s studs will be installed in between them. The bottom plate will stay a single and the top plate will get another plate for added strength and will give us another 2 inches of height. Oh dear! <laughs> that is heavy! Hey, hey, I'll move that stuff, Donnie. We've already had three or four days of hard work. Forgot to mark a bunch of them in here, Downey. Did I? Oh, that's no, where that, that head is. No, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I <even> got you. <laughs> oh, Stevie. <laughs> Friggin' Stevie. Oh my God. Look who's making carpentry jokes now? <laughs> like an old veteran. <laughs> got a framing for an hour. <laughs> East, isn't it though?
TV. Ready? So, yep. We lost Whoa. the jack. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Jesus. Can you go any higher, Stevie? Yeah. Go up your 2x4? There you go. Yep. We're way off down uh, here. I gotta get the ball. We should be off here. Uh, hey. The air hug is walking this way. Right? Yeah, this way. It looks like it moved. Right? Yep, that looks that looks just right to me. <coughs> That's pretty damn good. Forward a little bit. The brakes might be behind you. Oh, yeah, right here, don't I? Two inches at the end, inch and a half at the end. Good there. Yeah. You're gonna want to start pushing in now. There you go. Now, this is the door, so yeah. I don't want to nail that. Just down the end, maybe? I'll nail it. I don't want to nail it there, either. So I think it's just down the end. Well, I'll just... won't drive it all the way. this and I'll get yep. the other end. Stevie, why don't you put yours in first up the top? Or I guess he can yeah, move you go higher, Stevie. Okay. Higher. Want me to nail it? Higher. 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 Okay. Yep. Never moved. Right in this in general. Just send it right in. Right into this thing. Yep. Oh, oh, shit, man. Oh, that was so down. close. Okay. Almost got your hand. That would have been real bad. It would have been better if I'd have done it to myself. Yep, right there. Dead nuts. She go? Yep. 
This is my favorite level. It's always it's on. It's always on. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Yep. You ready, Stevie? I'm ready. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Back it up. What's that, Donnie? You gotta tap it your way. Yeah. Whisker. Keep going. It's about it. Hit one more, just for fun. That's good. the header that's the header right yeah that, for that door so when he when he does that header he can pull that in yeah okay I'll hold the header off you nail it In that bracket, bring it over even more, Doug. I gotta hit that top with a hammer. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to hit that. I guess. Tony, do you have that sledgehammer? Oh, sounds fun. Yeah. I'll get it. Now that didn't come together for us. Even with the jack. Did you level is the outside? Does it need to come? It does need to come, but oh. <laughs> see how the jack's touching both right. studs? Yeah. I think I gotta get something. I gotta get over here and hit it. Huh. Right? I guess. It shows it's off, huh? On both corners? Well, no, there's just a gap in between on the plates. Oh, I see. And there's a little bit of room up top there. We'll get a bigger hammer. Okay. I'll hit where your nails are so they don't hold the belt. That brought that in, is yeah, that quarter, did that come in? Quarter inch. That came in? Yeah. Not really. No, we're right where we were after you hit this. It brought it in quite a bit. It can't be over 28 foot. Well, I got half of mine to take a measurement. But we should be a quarter long, right? Right. <laughs> if you've got a quarter inch there? Yeah. Not gaining anymore. That stopped gaining? Mm -hmm. Let me try where your left hand is. If I can get a swing in there. How 
much is it? We gotta get these three nails out, so either because then it'll just apply. That's what's stopping it from sliding. Either whale on this real high with a sledgehammer now, try that. Got a friggin' cut this nail to get them out. Cat's ball or uh, sawzall, Donnie? What's better? Probably three nails. Or three. I'll give you the cat's ball. Okay. Yeah, I'm all into this. Don't even need to hit it, probably. No, just push on it, like right here. You won't have any, do you have any nails on it? Ah, uh, no, no. Here, yeah, come on. Yeah. No way. Well, I bought a springboard in it. I don't even think, I think we got it now. Are you pushing it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 Hey. Nice. We got it. What do you think of a diagonal, Donnie? Huh? What do you think of a diagonal? It should be right on if we're leveled both ways, plumb both ways, right? Should be. So just hook this on the outside corner of that furthest point. Right? Oh, go ahead, hooker. You good? Yeah. 16th long. It's right, right on the money. Nice. That's ridiculous. It is? Yeah. Right on the money. With a couple farmers. A bunch of chicken farmers. <laughs> You are? I'm no more. Oh, we are chicken farmers. That's crazy. We've been a 16. <laughs> is, that getting, is that getting a double or under the window or just straight jacks? I'm just going to do one. So I can cut those jacks. We're going to need a jack here, jack here, one there. Steve and I can put those in? Yeah. Feet from up. Yeah. To support it. Yeah. Alright, so I'll cut two eight footers. And Donnie, it gets one on the inside just like you did there, right? Yeah, one on each side. Yeah, whatever that opening is. Yeah. There's a, it's got the rough opening on that sheet. Yeah, I don't know where. Oh, Stevie's got your sheet. Need it? Yeah. For Donnie. Actually, can you give it to Donnie? Yeah. He'll tell me what I would need to cut. Two eight footers. Which one to do first? 
Are you still good? Yeah. Yep, push it in. We'll do, the, do that and then pull the trigger. These ones you try to get them this way. What do you mean? You know, we got nothing tying those two walls together. Oh, right now? No, you know. Well, tomorrow the gable ends will tie them together, right? Tie the outside, but the inside is you can go any which way you want. Yeah. You know, that wall going across will tie the back end, but we need those yeah. beams. We'll still have a 20 20 box. 20 by 20 box. Yeah. Well, should we go cut them right now? We'll find I'm not some. Going anywhere now, but I mean, we ought to have them soon. You know, we can just uh, leave these braces in until we get them. Get the gable ends and the back end, this end, <coughs> brace that so it can't go anywhere. But it's just around the center. Yeah, that makes sense. That eight foot wall, you're gonna, you're gonna over, are you gonna overlap that plate? The top plate? Yeah. Well, from the eight foot to the outside walls? Yeah. Sweet. That'll lock that in, right? Yeah, that that will lock the back end in, but yeah, that'll lock that in nice. Yeah, yeah. looking good though. Yeah, it's looking great. We got a lot done today. I could get some firewood. Could build that back wall. I could like to buy more. Right <laughs> I could do that pile. We, we could do a lot. I could build two more headers. I'll say wait. I am getting tired. Does that ever smell good or what?
Yeah, she's smoking. This man just added with this cedar. Oh, you went and got some good wood? No, I haven't been down there. There's some friggin' ice in here. How much longer are we gonna wait for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> we was ready when we go up to the pot. <laughs> That's like my favorite question. <laughs> I guess I don't need my tape measure on my belt anymore. <sighs> Probably ought to. I'm thinking I should just set up real quick. No. A minutes. No? Go with it? Yeah. Go with it. Right. There's two T bones and two ribeyes. You guys take whichever ones you want. I'll take all of them. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, Donnie and I could still do it maybe next year. Yep. That's awesome. We'll line this camp with fur. <laughs> That's what I think, man. We're gonna repurpose the old camp and just oh. make it a skin and shack. Oh. That'd be nice. Because we could put a little wood stove in there so you can go skin and you know you know, not out in the cold and let the fur and let the carcasses thaw. That'd be nice. You know, if you had a skin and day. Wanna do it, Donnie? Well, we'll see how the legs hold up. Yeah. I'd like to trap off a snowmobile. I got to do that a couple days. It was fun. I bet you could do it up here. We, you might have to deer hunt off a snowmobile. That'd be awesome. Years. I've never done that. No, me neither. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today. One heck of a day. We got the floor on, <coughs> bunch of studs cut up, and then we're able to raise two of the long walls and get a little bit ahead for tomorrow to put up those gable end walls. And hopefully we'll throw some boards on starting tomorrow, so that'll be good. Um, big bump in production with Stevie. That was great having Stevie here. He's uh, he's not a builder by trade or anything like that, so. He did a great job. He jumped right in and pretty awesome. I am smoke tired. That's uh, like three days in a row now of here, <laughs> not counting before here, of long, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14 hour days. You know, it's it's light around 5.30 and it's dark around 7. So we've been going pretty much from daylight till dark and then afterwards i kind of stay up and read a little bit until i'm too tired but it makes you kind of feel like a man when you're that tired you know when you gotta think about taking your footwear off your boots off or your shoes off or whatever and you know whether you leave your socks on or not because it might just be easier just to leave them on because it's going to be a short sleep and it's too hard to put them on tomorrow morning so if you guys ever felt like that let me know in the comments but makes you feel makes me feel a lot better when i'm that tired and know i earned my dinner and earned my pillow too so i'm gonna call it a night thanks for tuning in really really appreciate all the support and i'm also super excited to see what we can get done tomorrow